Hello. Hi. Hello. Now, these look like they've been used quite a lot. They are my mum's scissors, and my mum gifted them to me when I got married. I have a passion for sewing, and the passion just grew by watching my mum. So when I got married, she bought me a sewing machine, and she said, you have my scissors, take my scissors. Mum's name? Mum's name is Naseeb. Naseeb. And uh, she's no longer with us. She passed away 32 years ago. And where is she coming from? We came from India, from the Punjab. Right. It was when the UK was inviting workers to... Yeah come to England and my dad applied for that. What's the earliest memories you have of the scissors and mum using them? She used to use them um, for tailoring our suits um, and even, even my um, um, wedding outfits. And then have you used them on any other wedding days? Uh, I've used them on the girls' weddings um, when my girls got married. Yeah. And they were all done by the scissors. So what's actually wrong with them? Is they don't there... really cut anymore. When was the last time you remember them cutting? Proper Cutting and sewing was about maybe nine, ten years ago. The tension's actually fine on these. OK. The problem's probably sitting under that screw head there. That's probably the first difficulty with them, getting that screw out. There's no head left on it anymore to no. turn that out. I think there's been multiple attempts to try and undo and do that. I've seen that, and it's uh, probably Dad. He's a handy person around the house. Right. And fixes a lot of things. Yeah. But sometimes the wrong things. OK. <laughs> So if Jonathan's able to get these looking how they looked when you first got them, what are you going to do with them? The stress levels are a bit there because Gopal's getting married. And it'll be lovely wow. to finish off his garment yeah. for his wedding. There's a part of the outfit, it's like a scarf that I have to wear that ties to my uh, wife. Um, OK. Me. And what happens is her dad will tie the knot. That's essentially... Oh, that's tying the knot? Yeah, okay. essentially ties the knot between us two. And the outfit isn't complete without the scarf. I will definitely be doing the personal touches, using the scissors if I can. And how do you feel about these scissors being used for your very important day? It'll be a privilege. Um, it was only like, 11, 11 months when 11 she died. Yeah. I've only got one picture with her. And so for me to have a little bit of her on my wedding day, it would mean so much. Um, really privilege, really, yeah. more than anything, to, to have that. But thank you both for bringing these in. Thank you very much. All right. Thank Thanks, you very guys. Much. You take care now. Bye. Bye bye. See you. Can probably guess the answer already, but we need to see if these scissors actually cut in the state that they're in now. No, I can't even force these scissors to cut. So after a bit of a struggle, I finally got the scissors off the screw. So now I can take these blades apart and actually start grinding away at the surface. Um, I'm going to start grinding the inside of the bow. It's a bit of an awkward spot to get to, but if I use my hand drill with a sanding drum drill bit, then it shouldn't be much of a problem. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Like, it's always satisfying <laughs> to get a metal surface shiny again. But yeah, that's really smooth. That should be comfortable to hold. Now that we've got this perfectly smooth finish on the bows, I can move on to the shanks and get the paint off of there. Once we've done that, I can then work on the uh, inside blades, put that shape back 